Hello guys, welcome back to my other video. Okay, uh, before I start talking uh, too much, mm, too much, <laughs> me like it, uh, because I've got plenty of time here on this video, so I want to take this opportunity to say Happy Eid Mubarak to my mom, uh, my dad, my sister, my brother, and my friends, uh, my neighbors, and also generally to all my Muslim brothers and sisters around the world. And to my friends in Indonesia, uh, Selamat Hari Raya Idul Fitri, mohon maaf lahir dan batin. Taqoballahu minna wa minkum, uh, may Allah accept the fast and worship from you and us. Alright, uh, this video is actually not intended for a drawing tutorial, but it's more like a story of me, uh, a Muslim, having to uh, perform my fasting month in a country where uh, Muslims are a um, minority. Um, you guys uh, might consider this as a, a video blog, but uh, only with me showing my, my drawing process uh, instead of my face. Also, I will only talk about the drawing process um, just once in a while. I'm not going to tell, uh, sorry, uh, I'm going to tell when I jump into the next step of the drawing or, or when I think there is an interesting information I want to share with you about the drawing. Uh, because I know it's, it's going to be the most 8 minute this um, super boring video of your time and I'm really really sorry for that in advance so I'm gonna talk mostly about my Ramadan experience in a foreign country instead alright before I begin let's see what we have here uh, what you are seeing is the rough sketch of the character it's completed already I flip it to, the, to help me uh, see some mistakes in the proportion and I was then lowering the opacity to create the line art uh, if you're following, uh, I always start the drawing with the head and then continue to where it's facing by drawing a guideline, like a, a plus sign on the on the face. I'm not sure. Uh, it really helps me a lot to imagine what kind of pose the character will do. And now you're seeing me drawing the line art, uh, and it's going to take a while, so it's time to tell about my story. All right. Um, well, I should say it's um, super challenging. Uh, yes, having to perform fasting in a foreign country is super challenging, yet it's it's so exciting. Uh, let's start off with Sahur. Um, back at my home, I was only oh, always uh, woken up by my mom, then we had Sahur together, so I never had to worry about waking up. Here, nobody wakes you up, uh, not even your neighbors shouting out loud outside your place. It's very silent. You cannot tell when the commencing time unless you install an app to help you tell when it's time for Sahar. Uh, hold up, uh, I want to tell you an interesting point about my drawing. Um, you see, I make a modification to the line art, uh, which I'm not following the sketch. Uh, I often do this if I feel not satisfied with my drawing, so so here you see uh, I shorten the legs uh, to make it more chibi figure um, and it's um, pretty amazing the result. Alright, uh, back to my story, uh, where were we? Okay, well you know I'm, I'm kind of a lazy person so I always stay up late and, and had my sahur around 2 or 3 a.m. before I went to sleep. That's my strategy so that I won't be late for sahur of course. Uh, and then in the morning around 6 a.m. I woke up, performed a uh, subuh prayer and then I continued my sleeping until uh, around 9 p.m. Oh, sorry, uh, what did you just say? I don't have to come to the office if I work at that time. I mean, uh, I, I went back, uh, I, w I woke up around 9 a.m. All right, so here in the drawing, uh, before I continue my story, um, you see me finishing the line art and um, starting to coloring the characters. The character, yeah. Uh, again, I use a watercolor for my line art. As I told you in my previous uh, video, I choose watercolor to make it simple and less details. Uh, at this point, you can focus yourself uh, on your on my drawing, or you can keep listening to me talking about my fasting uh, experience. <laughs> it's up to you guys. All right, um, this is this is one of the biggest challenges I overcame during Ramadan. Um, it is your faith. Just for your information, it's it's summertime here, and the night the, the daytime is longer than the nighttime. I started the fasting around 4 a.m. and finished the day around uh, 7 p.m. Uh, well, more or less, it's uh, 15 hours. Uh, here, not only the weather is hot, but also are the females. Mm, I know you like it. <laughs> I know, right? 
All right, uh, you can see them everywhere. Uh, they are all over the place, like um, even even in, in the office, I'm sorry. Uh, well, with their short pants, uh, skirts, um, tank tops, or, you know, those lack of fabric t-shirts kind of things. Uh, it's very challenging, right? I know. <laughs> Another thing is the food. Um, back in Indonesia, most of people are fasting, so, so you almost never see anyone eating. Uh, even the restaurants also put some curtains uh, to respect the Muslims performing their fasting. Uh, but here, people just do their regular um, activities. They are eating during the lunch break, uh, heating the food with, uh, with a very tempting, delicious smell at the office. Uh, and then make my, my stomach started to sing and growling like, like several times. Uh, well, but it's not their fault, of course. Uh, they just do their normal things, uh, so it, it all completely depends on me. I usually went back to my room and then and I took a nap after performing Zuhur prayer. Uh, when the day is over, I mostly uh, broke my fasting at the office. It's it's because I had to do OT almost every day. So I could only perform my tarawih by myself in my room. And um, to be honest, it's not every day. I'm not a good Muslim, I know. I don't practice my religion uh, pretty well. Um, for your information, the, the tarawih prayers here started at 9 p.m. It's uh, until around 11 total of 23 raka uh, with a very long verses recited by by the imam and uh, last time i went to the mosque uh, i i almost fell asleep <laughs> well okay go back to the drawing again here i start drawing the background uh, as usual easy color to pick uh, the blue one not blocking the whole area only just one third of uh, of the, the the area is enough uh, so back to my story um, oh yeah Another big challenge is, uh, of course, uh, missing the traditions, the cultures, the spirits, the atmosphere, you name it. Uh, when I scroll down my social media on my phone, looking at my friends breaking their fast together, always breaks my heart. Really, uh, I, I want to cry and I really did it. Uh, also, I'm, I'm missing the food and, and the cookies, they are, they, they are only served during Ramadan. Uh, I miss opera ayam. Opera ayam is it's like a chicken, but with the coconut soup. And then nastar cookies so much. Um, those two uh, are my favorites during the Ramadan. And at the night before eight, uh, I miss hearing people praising uh, Allah Subhanahu Wa Taala everywhere on the roads and and also the mosque. Uh, and then when when Eid Mubarak comes, I miss um, you know jumping off from house to house and to apologize to the neighbors after attending Eid prayer, and uh, in a huge open area, uh, giving kids ang pao and and visiting our relatives. These things um, I will never have here. Uh, well, it's I know it's it's not easy, and and I know it. Uh, well, anyway, the the holy month of Ramadan has passed. So has my drawing finished? Uh, it's gonna be missed for sure. And once again, I want to say Happy Eid Mubarak. Taqabbalahu uh, minna wa minkum. May Allah accept the fast and and worship from you and us. Mohon uh, maaf lahir batin. For those who are going back to their hometown. Uh, I wish you all a uh, safe trip, uh, be reminded, don't drive when you're sleepy, uh, just pull over and, and get some rest. Uh, I believe there are lots of, of rest areas along the way. Alright, um, thank you so much to all of you who, who have watched my video uh, until the end. If you like this, uh, just please, please, please give, give, give me your, your thumbs uh, by hitting the, the like button and please share with your friends if you think it's worth it. Okay, uh, my name is Felix and I'm signing off. Thank you so much, guys.